exciting episode of The Spicy Life. I am your relationship expert and magnetic matchmaker, Spicy Madi. And today we are doing part two of how important is physical attraction and the role your smile plays. So to join me back in the G spot is Dr. Partovi from 360 Orthodontics. She is not only the founder, but she is also the dentist there, okay? She's an orthodontist. So um, having an amazing conversation with her, if you haven't had a chance to check out the previous episode, we deep dove into what is physical attraction, and I'm gonna give you a small little recap in case you didn't get a chance to go back and listen to it, but I highly recommend it. Um, main contributors for physical attraction are facial features, physical dimensions, facial expressions, non-visual cues, evolutionary factors that play a role, and sociocultural factors also play a role in what society has deemed or what you deem physical attraction, okay? Now, there's several elements though that um, are huge power players that you can be active about doing for yourself to be more physically attractive. I am not an advocate and neither of you are of spending millions and going getting crazy work done. Mm -hmm. However, there are subtle things that you can do to have more confidence and show that you take care of yourself that contribute to your physical attraction in mate selection, okay? Now, the importance of a smile is huge, which is why I have Dr. Partovi on this episode again. And we're gonna deep dive into what makes a beautiful smile, but I want you guys to understand first the importance of the smile, okay? So mood also is a huge determining of when someone smiles, it lets us know what mood you're in. When someone smiles, we also, it's communicating that this person is intelligent. Mm -hmm. It's also communicating youthfulness kindness, we automatically assume they're smiling, that's a kind person. Personality traits such as uh, neuroticism, self-esteem, and dominance. So when someone smiles, that's automatically communicating, I am happy and I love me, you should love me too. I'm okay? Yeah, I'm confident, <laughs> I'm not worrying. I know that was a lot, but smiles play a huge role and people get tired of you know me saying this over and over or just the world even saying like, smile more, smile more. Well, you should, if you're happy and you know it, you should be smiling it, like let us know. But what makes an attractive smile? Break that down to me. This is a great question. So instinctually, we all can tell the difference between a beautiful smile and a not so good looking smile. Mm. That part's already in us, yeah. but we, you know, after years of dental school, specifically orthodontics, we have broken it down yeah. into exactly the science of it. So the first one is symmetry. What's on this side closely resembles what's on this mm. side. Nobody's 100%. We're my not left machines. must match my right. right. So we all have what's called a midline. We have something down the middle, we have two teeth. Yeah, we all have that. So if I were to put a tooth right in the middle, you'd be like, huh, mm. something doesn't look right. Yeah. Well, that's the instinct in your brain knowing that. Um, another thing is the alignment. So that's what we do. We put them in a nice straight row. Yeah. If one's forward, one's back, one's this way, doesn't look right. Size and shape. <laughs> some people have big teeth, some people have small teeth. Some Size matters. Size sort of matters. <laughs> <laughs> It's also how you use them, Mari. <laughs> it's the motion in the chomp. <laughs> but they gotta be in the right place. They have to come together properly. So if you've got an underbite, mm -hmm. so you've got a huge overbite, those are all the things that we've correct. Um, I specifically love orthodontics, one, because I'm an orthodontist, but yeah. because I'm kind of a naturalist mm. and I'm working with what you naturally have. I love that. I'm not covering up and putting on veneers and, you know, cosmetic and crowns and this and that. I'm not saying those are bad. Sometimes you have discolored teeth yeah. or broken teeth and you need those. But for the most part, the majority of us have a good foundation yeah. and all we need to do is tweak them a little bit, yeah. brush them, clean them, lighten them up and you're good to go. Like a little dental recalibration. Exactly. That's actually calibration is a real thing. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> it is a real thing. See, I know some stuff, okay? <laughs> I should have gone to dental school. No. <laughs> but I think that that's amazing that something as um, small, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you don't even think about, like, hmm, what is my smile saying on a daily basis? But it really does play a huge factor in us making an assessment about you. And, you know, I have a client in particular that comes to mind. I'm just going to, I'm going to leave them nameless. 
where um, I've been trying to set him up, trying to set him up, and he is incredible, like such a good dude, tall, strong, um, handsome, smart, uh, successful. But one of the main things that I keep hearing from the women who I'm setting him up with is his teeth. Mm. And I feel like um, instead of trying to encourage these, enforce these women, like, you know, override the fact that you want a nice smile, um, get to know him first. And they're stopping. They're like, well, I don't want to get to know him because that's a priority for me. That's on their toppings list, right? You guys know the pizza, listen to the previous episode. Um, but they're like, the smile is huge. And every time I do the pizza exercise and I ask people what their toppings are, smile is always on there. People always want someone with a nice smile. And we're so physical with it as well. We're not just looking at your mouth when you're talking. My tongue is down your throat. I was just about to say that in my humble opinion, mm -hmm. kissing is way more intimate than having sex. Ooh. I, I <laughs> honestly do believe that. I think really? that, oh my God, your head can be over here. That person's head can be over there. Body parts can do what their thing. You can be way in other places, but when your heads, you're all up in oh each God. other's kissing, it's way more intimate in my opinion. Very much so. And like you have to, like that's the, you know, when, when you're talking to someone, you automatically are drawn to their mouth. Mm -hmm. Even while you're talking right now, I'm, I'm looking at your teeth. Like I'm all in your grill. I can't help it. I am a teeth person also. And I have had friends who I had a conversations with and sometimes give that tough love of like, man, you are beautiful girl, but here's some floss. If we start flossing, just imagine what your smile will look like. How do you have the conversation with someone who doesn't know that their teeth need to be done or doesn't know that they can improve their smile and that's like holding you back from being more physically attracted to them? So I will use a very personal example. My own, my own husband. Okay. My own husband. We met on Tinder and amazing guy, all the things. And I looked at his teeth and I'm like, oh. Okie dokie. So we can we can work on this. Mm -hmm. It was not a deal breaker. Yeah. One because I know I can <laughs> I can fix that part. Um, and I didn't. I'm not a you shoulder. Okay. You know, I, there's a concept called gestalt. We'll go into that whole other time. But um, I experience shared, and I would show him my before and afters of work, and I'd be like, look at this person, and then they did oh. that, and look, this person got jaw surgery, and this was the difference, and he kind of instinctually he just gravitated towards it, mm -hmm. realized that it's a value for me. Yeah. It's obviously my career. Yeah. Um, and he wanted to do it, he asked me. Yep. So it was kind of like, you know, I presented it in a very safe space mm. and he was attracted to it. I love that, that approach is really good. I, uh, my husband's gonna kill me for this, but I'm such a huge teeth person and I had braces that I had to get him to like kind of empathize with my braces experience. And then also how our son is gonna have cricket teeth. And my husband's like, no, he's not, he's gonna have my teeth, thinking that his teeth were perfect. And I'm like, so, <laughs> our teeth could be better, you know, babe, I had them at a young age and like, I want to prepare our son for, you know, having to get them. Just imagine if he saw daddy with them, mm -hmm. he would feel so much more confident about getting them. And my husband was like, so I'm not going to get the metal things, but I will get Invisalign. Yeah. And I was like, here's my credit card. Yeah. <laughs> I wish we knew each other then. Yeah. We do Invisalign. I'm sending my son to you for sure. 100%. <laughs> We want to see him at seven. Yes. That's the magic number. Seven. Okay. Seven years old um, is a, the, the number that kids can start getting braces. We like to see them for their first consultation. I'd say about 25% of them need something because mm -hmm. that's when we can make space for all the teeth to come in so we don't have to pull teeth later. See, and I had to have teeth pulled. Teeth pulled. Yeah, because my jaw couldn't fit, I guess, the crowding. Mm -hmm. um, but it was a game changer for me. Not only did I get my braces off at the same time as getting like my boobs when I went back to school. So mm -hmm. I was like, oh, this is phenomenal. <laughs> like people are so much nicer to be, you know, you and just I blossomed. I, right? I did, I blossomed and I felt so much better about myself. And even now when um, I'm taking like headshots or photos or I'm on set or on camera, I am so proud of my smile and I have a huge ass laugh. So my mouth stays open <laughs> all the time. You have beautiful teeth, by thank the way. You. Beautiful, a thank plus. you. Thank um, you. Thank you. I'm obsessed with teeth. And so that's why I also had to have you on the show because I was like, oh, you are someone who feels what I feel. You are my spirit at all. <laughs> um, but what I love is like when I was talking to you, too, you showed me examples. And I'm going to pull them up on the screen for you guys 
of like before and after. You gave me some insight yeah. into how incredible and the difference that a smile makes. And not only for your clients did it make a huge difference, but you were you deep dove into like how it changed his life. Oh yeah. Give me an ex- give me some examples. Like go, I want you to share that story with. So them. I had this one patient, and he has our consent to show his pictures. And he was an ex marine, nice guy, yeah. just you know, just super kind, great energy. And he came in and he kind of had a frumpy job and he dressed kind of frumpy and he was kind of, you know, yeah. just kind of low vibration. And I don't know what, he finally decided, you know, he went to several orthodontists and he chose me, which I felt pretty good about. She's the best. So he came to me, we put the braces on and I'm telling you, every visit that as the teeth were getting straighter, he was just brightening up yeah. more and more. By the time we took the braces off and took the final pictures and compared it to the beginning, he was a new man. He was a new man. He went, he applied to law school, got in. Now he's an attorney. He's living his best life Brace right now. Brace his self-esteem. Brace his health, the self-esteem. And I would use his before and afters to show other patients. I kid you not. Women would be like, oh, oh yeah, I date him now. So I'm going to pull his photo up on the background for you guys, like on the screen when I'm, you're watching this episode so that you can see. He looks like he has less wrinkles. He looks so much younger. <laughs> he just smiles bigger. Yeah, he just, it looks incredible mm-hmm. he just looks like a, a um, more I just like to use the word polished person polished and confident yeah for Absolutely. sure it makes a huge difference and then there's also um, some celebrity photos that I'm putting up for you guys um, and you would be surprised at uh, some of these artists that have gotten work and I know you probably can recognize instantly when someone has had maybe some dental work done oh, yeah. or braces but Cardi B it made a huge difference for Kylie Jenner, you guys know, made a huge difference. Morgan Freeman, Chrissy Teigen, Jordan Woods, all these people have had uh, work done to their teeth, mm-hmm. get braces or uh, maybe gaps closed or you know teeth whitening. But definitely, everybody, all of them have had to have their teeth straightened. Yes, because um, a lot of them had like crooked turned teeth. Mm-hmm. So when I was looking at the pictures, I was like, oh wow, it makes a huge difference just in the way that their eyes light up, mm-hmm. in the way that you know they um, are facing the camera differently when you have an improved smile. Yep. And I can't imagine, you know, it, I don't even like when I'm drinking too much coffee and my teeth start to get yellow. yellow. Right. I'm like, let me whiten these bad boys really quick. Yep. <laughs> What are some of the reasons that people would be apprehensive to do something as simple as braces? Number one question is, is it going to hurt? Mm. And you both, you and I both had braces. Yeah. I had them twice because I didn't wear my retainer straight up. I'm not going to lie. I still wear my retainer. So wear your retainer, get the permanent retainer. Um, then, there, then the second question is, it costs too much. That's the second, you know, barrier. And that's why we designed our prices the way it is. Like Nothing. no barrier to entry, like $99 a month. $83 a month. That's less than your Starbucks so a month. So good. So for 83 bucks a month, you can easily you can get have braces. Teeth. Yes. And how long do that usually have to like keep them on? I mean, everyone's different. Some people need them like for six months. Mm-hmm. Some people need them for 18 months. You know, everyone's different. It depends on the severity. But as soon as you're done, we take them off. We're not keeping you in treatment long. How are you comforting clients when it comes to, well, I don't want to have to go through this like awkward braces face. Like, you know, there's this phase that you got to go through with the braces. You know, you I tell, tell people that life is going to go on no matter what. Mm -hmm. So if you start today, you'll be done in a year. If you don't do it now, we're going to talk in a year and you're still going to have crooked teeth. So you might as well take advantage of it. That's how I rationalize a lot of things. I've had to have um, surgery on my feet before for like a broken bone. And they're like, you're not gonna be able to walk for, you know, two months. You're gonna have to walk around on crutches, but it's like, okay, either I make this sacrifice now or I live in pain and walk, you know, wobbly for the rest of my life um, because my feet hurt or actually do what I need to improve upon this right now. Like bite the bullet, take the sacrifice right mm-hmm. now so that you can get the return later. It's worth it. That's what my dad told me about going into dental school. <gasps> He's like, you're investing in your future. Yes. yes it's going to be hard for four years. Yes. Residency for another two years is going to be hard. Yep. Like I talked about in the previous episode, like you graduate at 30 years old and you like, where am I? Who am I? Yep. You know, okay, let's start life. But here I am, here we are, yep. you know, so that time was going to go by anyways. Owning a private practice and her hubby works with her. Look, you got to make the sacrifices so you too can own a private practice and have your hubby working with you if you were to get your teeth done. Um, <laughs> that's if you go to dental school. <laughs> but you can have a beautiful smile if you, you get your you're teeth You're more done. likely to attract him. <laughs> 
Um, I just think that these like little tidbits, you know, the, the beauty improvements help. And as someone who does have to show people's photos on a regular basis or even, you know, help my clients in improving, you know, and, and doing a little image makeover touch up. Um, the teeth are extremely important and I don't want us to overlook the fact that while I believe that we should be dating based off of values and character, physical attraction mm -hmm. is huge. It's a huge selling point in even somebody wanting to get to know your character. I just have to emphasize that again. Um, also, I want to know what sets 360 orthodontics away from or apart from what sets 360 orthodontics apart from other dental offices? Why would they come to you over the other ones? Okay, good question. Um, so in 13 years, I've worked in the crazy busy practices. I've worked in the high-end Beverly Hills practices. I used to charge $7,000 for the braces. Ooh. Oh yeah. And it didn't feel good. Um. I gotta tell you, I would have a mom come in with two or three kids and they'd be like, okay, which one needs them the most? And I'm like, I'm not going to traumatize these children. Oh no. So the reason that we made our price the way it is, is so it's accessible. And I firmly believe that everyone deserves to have a beautiful smile. I genuinely, in my heart of heart, that's my mission. And my husband gets mad at me when I say this. If I could give it away for free, I would. I'm dead serious. Um, Unfortunately, we all have student loans. We have to, <laughs> we do have to function in Los Angeles. <laughs> yes. um, so we've made the price point as comfortable as possible. Yeah. Our quality is, if not the same, better than those high-end places. We use the same materials. Yeah. I'm overseeing all of it. So it's the experience is excellent. You feel like you went to a Beverly Hills practice because the offices are beautiful, clean. Everyone's an orthodontist there. All our doctors are board certified orthodontists. There's no weird things going Sketchy on. Stuff, yeah. Everything is legit. And it's the best price in town. I'm not going to lie about it. And you're a likable person. Like just Thanks. talking to you and hearing your experience and your testimony and how cool you are, right? You're not like a stuffy, <laughs> I'm a doctor and I'm no, no. You. Um, you're, it, you are an intellect. However, you're super relatable and your personality, I bet you is what drives the most people to your practice because if people like you, they will sign up for your services. Like that's one thing that I've noticed even in, you know, my business is it's like, it's really about you. Um, and the person who's like delivering the service, if they like the person who's delivering the service, then they want to sign up for the gifts that you have to offer. Yes. And that, that's what drives our culture in the practices. Mm. So I can't be in all the locations at the yeah. same time. And you have a ton. What, the we, have five locations? we have five Okay, you're opening two new ones too. Yes. Okay, so name all the locations. So we have West LA, Chino, Santa Ana, Woodland Hills, and Santa Clarita. Yay to the Woodland Hills. Okay, <laughs> this is where I'm at. That's the one that I will be sending my son to. <laughs> so with, you know, we, we've got a big team with our dental assistants and our doctors and everybody is a version of me. Mm, Everyone has like that. that carries that same message and that same mission. So I we try that. to we try to instill that into everybody. So this wouldn't be a spicy episode unless we made her deep dive going more personal, right? Um, I want to know how you're able to be this. You know, you're the founder of you know 360 Orthodontics. You're this boss chick. Um, you're super incredible and beautiful. And then you also have an incredible relationship, a husband who works with you. You guys are a power couple. How are you juggling five, you know, opening, you know, practices and at the same time juggling your marriage? How are you doing that? Balance and boundaries. Break that down. Um, one, I have to remember to take care of myself. If I start to fall off and I start to eat bad and mm -hmm. I start to get the inflammation and the sugar, I might not only my mental health, my physical health goes away. Mm -hmm. So I am a yogi. Okay. I, I practice it, my yoga. But... I'm a yin restorative teacher. I do my Ooh. meditation. You know, those things, some might think it's woo woo. Whatever works for yeah. you. Yeah. Whatever yeah. works for you. You don't what have you to subscribe need. to what I do. What's funny is you were talking about having balance in your you know, work life, um, and then also your romantic relationship. So it's like career plus relationship. You got to have that balance. I think it's the same thing that I tell my clients because balance is huge for everything. But then there's also this element of when you're dating, are you bringing balance to what you're showcasing, right? Are you um, bringing balance in your, let's just say like IG profile, for instance, is there a balance between the substance and then also the sex appeal? 
right? Because we're talking about physical attraction on today's episode. And I think that balance is huge just across the board mm-hmm. when it comes to how you're balancing the things that are important to you and then also the brand that you're putting out there. So if you guys need help with that balance when it comes to dating, let me know. Um, <laughs> And Dr. Portovi will come in when it comes to helping balancing some of that physical attraction that you want to showcase, right? Um, talk to me and just let everybody know once again, like your specials and where they can find you. Cause I want them to be able to hit you up and reach out and get those spicy specials. Awesome. Uh, the name of the practice is 360 orthodontics. Our phone number is 310-998-7600. You can find us on Instagram, on Facebook, 360orthodontics.com is the website and our special for your listeners and followers is um, until the end of summer, until the end of August 31st, 2022, is that the yes, year we're in? they get $1,000 off Invisalign. Ooh. So it's normally $4,999, and for your listeners, it's going to be $3,999. Hallelujah. And as you all know, that's an amazing price. That is incredible. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, um, and then our braces are $1,999 all the time. That's just our price for the traditional metal braces. Oh my gosh. You guys need to definitely take advantage of these deals. Um, I want to make sure that you have plugged everything, um, locations, sure. anything else that you need to plug. Yeah. Like- and all those prices include everything. Okay. All your appointments, all your x-rays, um, the clear retainers at the end of treatment. There's absolutely no hidden fees. So when I give you that price, that's the actual price. And you can do payments. You can pay in full. You get a discount. Oh, that's perfect. We have multifamily discounts. Um, we have five locations. And you guys speak Spanish and English. In all of our offices, every time you pick up the phone, we, you have that option. Absolutely. We're completely bilingual. You guys take advantage of this. If you want to give yourself a recalibration, right? That's a real term you told me that we can use. Um, <laughs> Uh, your smile is a great place to start. I would making sure that I send that client that I mentioned earlier to you. We will take care of them <laughs> gladly. And you guys can always play with my Twitter or stroke my IG at Spicy Madi. Go to thespicylife.com. Make sure that you download this episode, share it with a friend, click and subscribe. And there you guys have it. You have just been spiced. The Spicy Life.